Hello friends, I am Professor Kumar as you know from Galaxy Tutorials. This is our first lecture on math Mathematics 10th Standard CBSC. The lecture must have already reached you at home. Please take a notebook and a pen and please follow the lecture and kindly note in the notebook whatever I write on the board and the steps I use to solve the sums. Okay. The chapter which I am dealing today, which is as you have said already done in your schools and one of the important and easy chapter is trigonometry. Trigonometry is chapter number 8 in your textbook and the whole title is Introduction to Trigonometry. The chapter name is so big, Introduction to Trigonometry, but basically extremely simple requires formula and a bit of analysis and patience. Don't give up. There is always a way to home. You just cannot get lost while walking towards your home. Let us see the chapter in details. First, I will introduce you to the chapter. The chapter name, as I put, is chapter number 8, Trigonometry. Why did we start with it? Most of the schools have done this chapter first. Do not worry, we are going to do all the chapters. Okay, one by one, in details, nicely, slowly. If you do not understand anything, please make a mark in your notebook with a pencil or pen you are writing so that you can ask me with live session and which will be told to you how we are linking with each other. Ah, before we go forwards, let me remind you, please register yourself. As you can see, your workbooks are ready and you have to come and pick up your workbooks after registration. Lectures, I am sending you as now regularly. And of course, the next chapter, next subject will reach you after this. Is the whole chapter going to be done? We are doing unit wise till you can understand. There is no need to hurry. Listen to it three times, four times, five times. Listen to it in a peaceful situation with a note. A pencil. The more you will practice, more you will have, less you will have to study later on. Okay, let us use the time fruitfully. I'm starting trigonometry. What is trigonometry? What does this name mean? Matrix means measurement in Latin. Like we are using the meter. So this is measurement. What are we measuring? We are measuring angles of triangles and sides of triangles. Why are we measuring angles of a triangle and sides of a triangle? Dear friend, tomorrow you may become an architect. You may want to design a building. You will make a small model at home. How do you know that that building is straight? It is not bent 5 degrees in front, 3 degrees to the left, 2 degrees behind. Will it fall? How do you know how high it is? We don't have to climb every building and take a tape and start measuring 20 floors. Of course, we will never be able to measure Burj Khalifa like that. So there must be a way. This way was known to the Egyptians and ancient people. And trigonometry, my friends, is not a new subject. It was devised by them. We are just putting it in proper English and putting it across to you. Remember, the pyramids were made quite, quite long back ago. I think 10 uh, generations of yours, previous birth, even more than that. Behind. So you can see how old the trigonometric ratios are. Let's see trigonometry. First, we will deal only with right angled triangles. We will not use acute angle triangle, obtuse angle triangle, scaling triangles. Please do not use trigonometry in any other triangles. Except one of the angles has to be 90 degrees. Then you will ask me, suppose I am making a pyramid, where is the right angle? We will have to construct a side next to it and make it a right angle. 
Suppose this was the pyramid I was making. Now there is no right angle. I will have to make, put a straight pole in the ground and tie a rope till one side. Now I have a right angle. And I can start measuring things like that. Now I can find out what is the base, what is the height of the pyramid, etc. Remember, the height of the pole and height of the pyramid now will be same. So technometry has to be adapted in other triangles. In right angle triangles, you can use it directly. No need to modify anything. Second example, I have a obtuse angle triangle. Now how do I? I will construct a perpendicular and then start with the triangles. So trigonometry can be used for all triangles. Remember, right angle triangles directly, other triangles converted to right angle triangles. Let us see further. Third, it is a ratio of sides equal to an angle of a triangle. Not directly an angle, but a function of that angle. What is function? x square is a function of x. 1 upon x is a function of x. So you get an answer in some form of the variable that is the angle. Fourth, there are only three sides to a triangle. I know my friends, you will laugh. But please remember, 